friends, welcome back for another read aloud. This is one of my favorite books from when I was a kid. It is called Fritz and the Beautiful Horses. It was written and illustrated by Jan Brett. She makes beautiful pictures. Fritz and the Beautiful Horses. I hope you enjoy it. Once there was a walled city known for its beautiful horses. There were magnificent jumpers, splendid chargers, and elegant parade horses. The citizens were so proud of these horses that it was decreed that only the most beautiful were allowed in the city. All others would had would have to stay outside the wall. So they believed that only the most beautiful could come inside. Do you think that's fair? One of these pon sorry, one of these was a pony named Fritz. Fritz was not beautiful. He had a long tangled mane, whiskers on his muzzle, and short legs. But Fritz was very gentle and kind. He was sure-footed and always willing to work. Now look at Fritz. He looks like a lovely pony. Do you think it's more important to be gentle and kind or beautiful? Which is better? Day after day, Fritz watched the beautiful horses. Some had braided manes and tails and carried lovely ladies. Others had glossy coats and pulled grand carriages. Most of all, he watched the children's horses. So here they are on their way to the walled city. There's Fritz watching the grand carriages. Look at them going to the city. Do you think Fritz would like to be one of those horses? I wonder why the children look so frightened, he thought. The children were afraid. They didn't like their horses prancing and leaping. It made it very difficult to ride. Now, look how small these children are on these horses. Look at their faces. Their feet are so high off the ground. Would you be nervous to be on those kinds of horses? As Fritz watched, he thought, I would like a child to ride me. But no one ever noticed Fritz. One day, he climbed up to the road leading to the walled city. He tried to take long, graceful strides. He pranced and curved his neck. He threw his tail into the air to look fancy. Now, does Fritz look like those other horses? He tried, didn't he? He tried very hard to look like them. The citizens stared at Fritz and they began to laugh. Look at that silly little horse, they said. Then the lovely ladies and magnificent gentlemen galloped away toward the walled city. The children followed reluctantly behind. I guess I do look silly thought Fritz, and he hung his head in despair. Despair means he doesn't know what to do. He's been told he cannot do the one thing that he really longs to be. Now, did you hear the part where it said, the children followed reluctantly behind? That means they're kind of looking behind them at this little pony. And they're like, we have to go but we really don't want to. Why do you think they don't want to? Fritz listened to the citizens as they galloped their horses faster and faster. He heard their loud cheers as they rode onto the bridge to the walled city. All of a sudden, Fritz heard a loud snap. The bridge was breaking under the weight of the horse's pounding hooves. So look, here they are galloping into the city over the bridge. Here is Fritz lying so sad when he heard that snap. Do 
you think the snap means trouble? Fritz saw a long crack appear in the middle of the bridge. The citizens were on one side, where the city was, and the children were on the other side. You'll have to cross through the river, cried the citizens. So look, here are the citizens, here are the children. Do you see the crack right in the bridge right there? And look at Fritz down here looking up. Now, do you think that the elegant, beautiful horses are going to want to go through the muddy water and get dirty? But the children wouldn't move. My horse might shy and buck, one said. My horse might leap and stumble, said another. We might fall off, they all cried together. Stay where you are, shouted the citizens. We will come and get you. But their horses wouldn't move. The hill is much too steep, thought one horse. My lovely mane might get tangled in the bushes, thought another. We certainly don't want to get wet, agreed the other horses. So the children are afraid that something bad will happen. The citizens want to go get the children, but their horses have decided, no, we don't want to. It will not make us look beautiful anymore. Everyone wondered what to do. Then they noticed Fritz. Here comes our hero. Fritz carefully climbed to where the children waited. Remember, earlier in the story, it said Fritz was sure-footed. That means whenever he steps, he always steps in the right spot so his body doesn't lose balance. Fritz was not beautiful, but he was gentle and kind. He was sure-footed and always willing to work. The children were not afraid to ride him. One by one, Fritz carried the children carefully down the steep hill. He calmly stepped through the river from rock to rock and up the other side. Look, here is Fritz rescuing the children one at a time. The water doesn't bother Fritz. He's a very brave pony. He's also a good size for kids. He finally carried all the children to the walled city. A great cheer went up from the citizens. The lovely ladies cried, hooray for the sure-footed pony. The gentleman said, how kind and dependable he is. So look, the children have all made it. The citizens are very excited. Do you think they're going to let Fritz into the city now? He doesn't look any different than he did at the beginning of the story. And the citizens exclaimed, or sorry, and the children exclaimed, we didn't fall off. So Fritz was given a special place inside the walled city. All the children cared for him and became his friends. From that day on, the walled city was known for its beautiful horses and its very dependable pony. So look, here are the children. And there is Fritz. So, who was the hero in our story? How did he become that hero? What did he do to earn a spot in that walled city? And it goes back to just because something may look nice or be more beautiful doesn't always mean it's the best. The beautiful horses that everyone loved to look at let people down when it really mattered. Whereas Fritz was brave, and not afraid to get wet and dirty, was willing to do what the big horses would not because he was kind. I hope you enjoyed the story. 
go find someone in your house and tell them all about how Fritz saved the day. I hope to see you soon and I have lots of books back here that I got today at school to read to you. So I look forward to reading to you again next time. Have a great day. Bye.